Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Nation. My name is Brian, and I will be your host through this journey uh, brought to you by Apocalypse Movies. Uh, and as with me, as always, I have Gio Ramos on my right. Well, yeah, my right, left virtually. <laughs> and uh, Keith Barnes down below me. How are you guys? Good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Again. <laughs> and I don't even, I can't even complain because you are outside delivering packages all day. <laughs> so I, you're yeah. way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is our, what, fourth, fifth episode of Nerd Nation that we have gone through the decades. Um, and we started. Uh, what? Is oh, it, so it's like, is it? Fifth or sixth? Fifth? It might be okay. fifth or sixth. I've lost track. But um, yeah. actually, it's sixth. This is our sixth. Uh, this is our sixth episode of our decade breakdown. We started all the way in 1980, and then we are now closing it out with 2015 to 2019. Uh, this is going to be almost impossible to try to get through in an hour, but we are definitely going to try and we are going to push our way through it because we have good movies to talk about so with that we are going to start in 2015 2015 brought us movies uh comic book movies that were ant-man avengers age of ultron fantastic four and kingsman the secret service um anyone want to hit one of those right off the bat it's a tough year for directors I mean, Edgar Wright loses Ant-Man. That movie gets streamlined and made. Josh Trank loses Fantastic Four. That movie gets taken over and made. Josh Whedon does the Avengers Age of Ultron pretty much banged up. I heard he like broke his leg or something and was sleep deprived and constantly shooting just to meet the expectations after the first Avengers uh, movie. Um, but uh, let's start with uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, the biggest yeah. one. Um, the trailers were very dark. I remember the trailers being very dark and me being very excited about that. Um, obviously, Ultron is a creation of Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark. So there was definitely that quit that he had uh, in him, that uh, wittiness. You know, there's a line that says, clearly you've never made an omelet. And Tony Stark's like, he beat me by one second. Um, I wanted Ultron to be a little bit more menacing. I wanted him to be a little bit more dark yeah. and terrifying. But I understand that you just can't go go too deep into that uh, route. Um, it gave us a pretty, I don't know. Well, I don't know what the I'm looking for. Like Aaron Taylor Johnson's Quicksilver was unfairly compared to Evan Peters' Quicksilver from Days of Future Past. Um, but I thought it was a good enough performance. And Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. Wow. Take Give her her own mm. franchise. Give her 10 movies. I'll watch that. I'll watch all of them. Couldn't agree more. But uh, yeah. I'm getting I, the getting the Netflix or no Netflix? What's it? Yeah. No, the Disney Plus. No, 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 no. Uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be cool. Yeah, you're right. I, yeah, I can't wait to see see more of her. She's she's scary, man. They, they you could you could see the little seeds of it in that movie, but yeah. uh, yeah, we'll 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 see what happens with her. But it's gonna be some dark stuff. But yeah, you know, I think this one just went, and I know we had a tough time with it. <clears throat> uh, you know. First Avengers up to this point was you know pretty much the biggest movie ever. Uh, well, it was I think, uh, uh, and you know so it's tough to try to match that. Um, Ultron, I do, I agree. Yeah, I, I think he was he was menacing, just not enough. Yeah, you know, and like I said, a little too you know, good looking back at it, even at the time, but definitely looking back at it, a little too jokey for me. You know, like he's he's kind of <laughs> he's supposed to be some real menacing scary moments and which there are some but then, he, then he'll like crack a joke <laughs> or something or be say something like uh, uh i don't know it's whatever just yeah so yeah. and there were some weird moments in it that kind of don't make the whole thing thor in the little that pool in the cave and stuff like that. 
what's going on there? We don't really, really having a flashback. Like, yeah, like I don't, I don't know, but you know, we had this moment. So I think it's pretty good overall, but um, just wasn't great. The thing I remember the most though, and it made a lot of money, but I remember the opening weekend. You had there was a game seven between the Spurs and Clippers in LA, and it was the same day as a, it was also the Kentucky Derby. And you had uh, Mayweather Pacquiao, I think was that. Jesus. All on that day, uh, that Saturday, was that opening weekend. I think it's moving that movie made like 190 million opening weekend. I think it would have done a little more um, if it went for all those things going on. Uh, I think I think it did cut in a little bit into the box office. Maybe not a whole lot, but I think I did affect it a little. But uh, it's fine. You know, we really get some actual finalists and real set up to like the infinity stones and a little bit of direction of where this is going. You know, Thor's like, oh, I'm gonna go find out what's going on at the end of the movie. He's gonna go investigate and you know, we get in our intro to vision. We get vision in here. We get uh you know, we get our first mention officially of Wakanda in this movie. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, you know some cool uh, the Hulkbuster, that's my favorite thing in this movie is the Hulkbuster Iron Man fight. Uh, I mean a Hulkbuster Hulk fight. Yeah, uh, I love I love that scene. That's that's my favorite scene in this movie. But agreed, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I echo everything you both said. Um, yeah. It's it's funny because I remember when they announced this movie at Comic Con. I remember watching it and freaking out, finding the some the illegal thing that someone took a video of, posted on Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah. It was didn't live up to I think the expectations, but um, hey, what are you gonna do? They can't all be perfect. Um, so with that, I I actually want to hit uh, Kingsman because I I really enjoy Kingsman. Um, it, it it was a really good movie oh, yeah. and uh, brought us Taron Egerton and uh, and just I, I enjoy this movie for an adaptation and. Definitely doesn't hold back on the violence and fight scenes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thoughts, either of you? Yeah. Go Sophia Butella. Oh, yes. Amazing. Her blade oh. legs. <laughs> oh, but yes. again, that Samuel L. Jackson in that stupid accent. That. Oh, he was, I, I didn't mind. He, he was all right. I thought he was funny. I thought he was, yeah. he was okay to me. Yeah. I, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't mind him. I thought it was pretty good in this movie. No, I agree. Good movie. I like it. <laughs> Geo, any thoughts? I love uh, Mark Strong. Mark Strong's great in this movie. I love. Yes, him. yes. Yeah, man, Matthew Vaughn. I mean, talk about hit after hit yeah. after hit. Like this guy is just incredible. You know, when it comes to comic yeah. book adaptations, um, still one of the greatest fight scenes in a comic book movie uh, or at least action sequences with Colin Firth um, just wrecking oh, the church, the church That's to, right. uh, <laughs> God what's that free? song no. was it free oh my god movie? it was a smoke schmodown question literally we like just, just, yeah. two yes. weeks ago it's uh, uh, Freebird right is it Freebird? I think, right? I think you're right yeah. Yeah. keep going yeah. I'll make sure but um, yeah, I mean, it's with Matthew Vaughn, you, you definitely get a violent comic book adaptation, but he just, man, he knows how to make it fun. He really does. And you nailed it, Gio. It was Freebird. Freebird, yeah. Yeah. Come, come see me, Jake. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it gave us more sequels than I wanted. I wanted Matthew Vaughn to do other things, but man, I, this, this yeah. movie is just, it's just awesome. It's awesome. Agreed. Any thoughts? Is he doing it? this new one too? Is he? The new yep. one looks amazing. I cannot oh. wait. In fact, they just dropped a trailer and I have yet to watch it. Like, yeah, same things. here. I haven't watched it yet. Ugh, so. Come on. No, oh, it's so good. Keep doing these. They're, they're going to get less and less. I, no, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I, agree. Eh, 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 I don't know. Uh, shall we move on to the next decade? Or next decade, next year, or do you want to hit Ant Man or Wait. Fantastic Four? Really quick, we don't need Fantastic. We don't Fantastic. Yeah. Four. We talked about that when we did that week that uh 
Josh Trank thing, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's it's Fantastic Four. It's bad. <laughs> it's not really to say. It's not. It's a mess. Production was a mess. Uh, uh, Ant Man. I personally, I'm one of the people that I love Ant Man. Um, I think I ha- I'd have to look, but when we did our Marvel rankings, I, it might have been in my Jacob top ten. Jacob loves it. Yeah. No, I'm with. I'm right there. I I, I love it, man. I don't know how people think it's just okay, or but you know, it's a nice little. It's it's fun. Nice little heist movie. It's funny, obviously. Um, I I know Edgar Wright had a was gonna do it for all like what ten years prior or whatever, and he just his version his version just didn't quite match what they wanted to do. Um, you know, I know they use his story uh, a lot of the stuff in his his story that they gave story credit and. With a lot of stuff in it that you can tell, but the whole thing with storytelling with uh, Michael Pena and, and the, all you know, telling the stories that's full on. That's Edgar Wright right there. <laughs> uh, the 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 briefcase fight where the Ant Man is fighting uh, Yellow Jacket in the briefcase, and he's like, "I'm going to annihilate you," and he steps on the iPhone and it starts playing uh, Annihilation. <laughs> that's full on. That's Edgar Wright right there. Uh, yeah, so that these like friendly. Fam- or family friendly movie, a Marvel movie. Uh, no, well, yes, and, yes, and no. Yeah, Ti says a word that is in this movie that's definitely not. <laughs> family yeah, friendly. I, I still find it weird that this was a movie to close out phase two, I right? Just, I was like, yeah, I know, right? I agree. Yeah, but but you gotta you gotta shoehorn in, you know, because they gotta make that window that Captain America Civil War, which we'll talk about next year. Or yeah, that's right. Yeah, that credit scene. Yeah, they had it in there, so. Yeah. Yep. Any other thoughts, Keith? I like it. Man? Nah, that's it. I like it. I like him. Fair enough. Uh, we are going to move to 2016. 2016 brought us Captain America, the Civil, uh, the Civil War. Captain America, Civil War, Deadpool, Doctor Strange, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, and X Men Apocalypse. I'm so proud of myself for not saying X Men Apocalypse because I've kept telling myself I'm going to do that all day. But I didn't. Um, so yeah, I'll let someone else pick one to start with. Let's uh, let's continue with Marvel. Um, Go for it. Captain America: Civil War. Yeah. At the time, I was thoroughly impressed with this movie. I was just like, wow, like they they really delivered on the uh, Civil War storyline. You know, it wasn't the exact storyline, but it was enough and it adapted in a way that fit with their universe. Um, yeah. I was amazed by the airport scene, the, the fight nice. scene. Um, and just the uh, introduction of the Black Panther, uh, Chadwick yeah. Boseman, who I was a huge fan of. Um, I'd see some of his previous work, and when he was casted, that was just wow. Uh, Spider Man was cool, definitely cool. Um, problem is, the more I watch this movie, uh, for me, it doesn't hold up as much. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, I still think it's a good movie, but rewatching it, I'm just like, huh, the, the believability factor, you know, of. Like, for instance, Tony Stark in the beginning of the movie, you know, gets uh, confronted by a mother who lost her son in the uh, Age of Ultron battle. Yeah. So, so then he goes and recruits a kid to go and fight against the superheroes. And be that as it may, that we know the kid ain't going to die, still, you're just like, Where's the logic in that, you know? Fair. Never thought about it that way. Yeah. 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 It, it's just little things like that, you know, and but it, it still doesn't take away that it's a very, very enjoyable movie. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was they pulled off bringing Spider-Man into this world. Didn't think that was ever going to happen. But um, and we got Tom Holland, who some may argue is the best Spider-Man that we've seen so far. So, I mean, I personally think he's the best. So that's right now. That's where I'm at with it. Um, yeah. Airport scene. Can't beat that airport scene. Well, you can't, but it's, 
it's one of the best scenes of all. Um, the, all the characters that are involved in it, obviously they couldn't really go after the um, the original story, but hell, they pulled it off in a way that worked. So uh, yeah, Keith. I mean, they would have just waited a few years. They could have. Now they could do Civil War. You know, they now they do it proper. <laughs> but that's nah, fine. But um, uh, no, I'm glad they did it when they did. We may never, we may never see movies again. So <laughs> I'm glad they did it when they did. Now, uh, uh, yeah, this. I actually came out of this. <laughs> I actually came out of this movie a little bit underwhelmed. Okay. A little, because. Uh, at the time, uh, looking back on it, and obviously with the, the way everything has ended, I get it. it. It makes sense. You know, the Avengers wound up fractured, and which is ultimately why they lost in Infinity War. Um, so when you tie it in with those movies, it makes it makes a little more sense. But yeah, uh, you know, we get the new Spider-Man, best best live action Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 yeah, I the only thing I really draw, I, I think all characters are great, performances are great. Um, the fights are awesome. Um, I've mentioned before, I love, I'm one of those people. I, I actually like that tunnel chase and that apartment building fight and the tunnel chase um, a little more than the airport fight. But that's isn't it's incredible. You know, I love that scene. It's the spectacle is amazing. Um, I just like the. The thing I draw from this movie is just the battle of ideology, method, methodology, and just the whole, the actual, the actual debate of signing these accords, what it means versus not signing them, and I, I really, I like that a lot. I like, I wish there was more of that, but and we got Thunderbolt so Ross fight, back, you know, for that, got him back, and yeah, which is really a great way to draw him in, yeah, and draw him in with with that, and yeah, very, I really like that a lot, yeah. Um, and that's what my favorite scene in the movie is that debate they have at the beginning at, in the uh, Avengers compound there where they're, you know, debating the pros and cons of signing this, you know, and I, I love the lines, you know, where Cap's like, uh, what do you say? I can't remember, I can't remember what he said, but I know Tony's just like, if we don't yeah. do this now, it's going to be done to us later, you know, uh, and Captain America's whole thing of just, hey, I, I, I I trust our, I trust us more than I trust them. You know, those, this, this stuff is run by people with agendas, you know, and agendas change. Yeah. And he's, everything he dealt with in the last movie, I, I totally get it. You know, I used to be full on Team Iron Man, but I've kind of, over the years, I've kind of leaned a little bit more toward Captain Burke's side, man. Like, you know, really? he's still wrong. Oh, and really? Only because I think he's wrong. The only thing he's, he's wrong, he's not wrong at his reasoning. But when you get to that right at the beginning of that airport fight where Tony's like, hey, stop and just come with us, he should have come. He should have gone. That's where he's wrong. And instead of saying, no, I'm going to fight. Well, like, hey, listen, trust Tony's whole thing was like, trust me. We can take care of this. You just but you have to come with us. We'll make sure. And and I get and I get Steve's hesitation. He's just like, look, I don't after everything he just went through and when a soldier. His whole everything he believed in, everything he was fighting for, he thought he was fighting for, it just turned out to all be a lie. So I get his hesitation, but I just feel like, uh, and he, he was wrong. Like I said, he's wrong for just nope, we're gonna fight and instead of just you know. Tony's whole thing was, hey, you're gonna come with us because it's us, okay? Because they're gonna send some people out here to try to kill you. We're not here to kill you. We we can talk. We can figure this out if you just you know. But you can't fight, and he chose to fight, and I think he was wrong for that. But I, I kind of I'm a little more sympathetic to to. Team uh, Team Cap uh, than I was at first. <laughs> uh, shall we move to Deadpool? Ryan Reynolds finally got to play the Sorry. correct Deadpool <laughs> character. Chio, you want that one? Hey, the power <laughs> of fandom fans. <laughs> Fan, yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. This movie started with a uh, leak, so they say. Um, but the fan reaction, the, the fan calling, the hashtags convinced uh, Fox, pre, this is pre-Logan, it convinced Fox to take a chance to do an R-rated movie. Yeah, 
pre Logan, pre Disney. Um, impressive. I mean, the best best word to describe this this movie, and it's impressive because of the budget they had to work with, yeah. the cloud over their head that was the studio executives who were just did not want this movie to happen, but. You know, like it's a good business decision because of the hashtags and the fans and the tweets and all that. Uh, so the limited resources and somehow Tim Miller and Ryan Reynolds, Brett Reese, the writers, Brett Reese and Paul Wernick able to create what is a superhero movie unlike anything before it and for it to succeed the way it did. I think it pulled in close to eight or nine hundred million dollars. I will look that up. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah, just, like just impressive. And um, yeah, Ryan Reynolds is perfect, perfect character for me. perfect person to play the Deadpool character. So. Budget of fifty-eight million, box office of seven hundred and eighty-two point six million. <laughs> yeah, so close thing. Oh wow! So very, Jeez. very well. So uh, I, I uh, enjoyed this movie too. Yeah. Oh, go go, Keith, go for it. Oh, just I love this movie, love it so much. <laughs> uh, I was gonna wait. I don't know why. I just I was gonna wait to see it until I kind of heard some some of the reaction. Then I just I just went the opening night. I just went. Eh. I just kind of looked in Fandango and eh, this one theater's got an open seat. I just I just went and I'm glad I did. I loved it. Love this movie. Ryan Reynolds, like you said, perfect. Uh, I know he was really lobbying for it ever since the, the last one, the terrible one in the Wolverine movie. Uh, although I did, like, he, I thought he was pretty good in that as well for what they gave him to do. I mean, but this one, just the way they animated the character with the moving eyes and just, which is awesome. I mean, for that budget too, I mean, you you wouldn't even, it did, it's, it's really great, really great job with this movie and a great story. You know, they, they had to get a little creative because of the, it was a risk, obviously, in the limited budget, and they they actually got creative and made a great story behind it. Like you actually, I know they kept saying this movie's it's a romantic comedy, and it, yeah, it actually it actually really is, to be honest. Uh, yeah. The great uh, story between him and uh, Mar Marina Baccarin. Uh, Marina Baccarin. Baccarin, uh, yeah. However you pronounce it. From uh, uh, Gotham. What about show she was on? Yeah. But yeah, she's great. And was she on Gotham too? I didn't know that. Yeah, she. That's she's I think Lost or something like that. She's on like. What? No, that's Evangeline Lilly. She on Lost. She came from. I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, yeah, you're right. Just Gotham. She's on Gotham. Firefly. And, was she on Firefly. Gotham and Homeland is what. Oh yeah, she was on Firefly oh, for a little bit. Firefly. Yes. Okay, I thought so. Yeah. I thought and I Serenity. Okay. <laughs> And right. oh, uh, she yeah, no, that was great. Love it. Holy crap! Uh, okay, just realized she was. Yeah, from she was right. She was on that show V with the aliens too. No, just me that watched that show. Yes, that's right. Okay. She was the queen. She was the yeah. alien queen. Yeah. Holy crap! No, I watched it. She, okay. was, the, she was the queen, wasn't she? Yeah, she was the yeah. queen. I totally just I remember that. that now. <laughs> I loved yeah. uh, uh, Ajax. Right, I forgot all about that. I, I love the villain of Ajax in this movie. He uh, was good, right? Uh, Ed, Ed, is uh, it Skirin? Ed something? I don't know how to pronounce Skirin. it. Strain, 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 Skirin. Yeah. Um, he was good, menacing yeah. villain. Brought us Gina uh, Carano, even though she wasn't fantastic in this, but she's fantastic in Mandalorian now. So, um, yeah. She talked. She was speaking that when she was said. <laughs> uh, very little. Very little. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, a uh, good movie. Definitely brought a lot of fan love to this character, and uh, people are very passionate about this yeah. character now. Screaming at Marvel to hurry up and put a movie out, but in due time, in due time. Um, anyone else want to hit anything? What else? What do you have? Ooh, I didn't even know they made a game <laughs> for it. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Matt him in one of the new Avengers games. Um, any other ones anyone want to talk about? Batman v Superman. Uh, what else? Dawn of Justice, maybe. Go for it. I mean, you know that's a landmark. 
Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. This movie, if, if, what do you hear more conversations of these days? Civil War or Batman v Superman? Like this movie, I feel like will be a cult classic. The ultimate edition, at least. Um, <laughs> you guys have probably heard and seen and read as many stories uh, about this movie. Um, for me, introduction of Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, best Batman on screen. Hmm. Ultimate Cut gave us a more fleshed out story um, of Batman v Superman. For me, Lex Luthor worked because when I think of a, a young billionaire in today's world, that's what I imagine Lex Luthor to be. Um, not a perfect movie, but I love it. It's very philosophical. And obviously, it's beautiful to watch because of Snyder's visuals. So, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, what is it? The ultimate? Is that what the end? The new, the ultimate edition or extended? What's it called? Ultimate, ultimate edition. edition. Ultimate edition's good. I actually really enjoyed that. Ultimate edition, yeah. Um. So yeah, I agree with you on that part. Wasn't I'm opposite of you. I wasn't. Did you release with, that in theaters? I don't okay. think so. Did they put it in theaters, you? Well, I think they did for like a one one or two night release. Oh. Like in like like in the summer, like a few months later or something. Yeah, this was like only in major cities, so. though. Oh, well, yeah, okay. I enjoy it. It, it does hold up um, that extent. Uh, ultimate one, but uh, yeah, pretty. I, I again, I very much remember the Comic Con teaser where it was it flips oh. the Batman logo and then puts the Superman one in it. And people lost their loving minds. I'll never forget that. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I love the score so much. Yeah. I really, I was listening to it Very the other day. Score. Like, oh, it's so great. Very good <laughs> score. Um, yeah. Other ones Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch's introduction. Oh, yeah. Good movie. Yes. Probably could have been a little bit better, but still. <laughs> nice. What? You th- I love Doctor Strange. I love this I movie. love Doctor I Strange. Think that movie could have been a little bit better. Oh, I love the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do. I'm someone. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm a, I'm probably in the minority there. I, I don't know. I think it's another one of those ones that people think is just okay. But I love it, man. I love. I, I really do. I really enjoy this one. Because, um, because I love the character. I was always. He's another one of those ones where um, when I was in high school, like, I was big. I just love Doctor Strange. Um, I wish they would have got a little bit more. I, I, they can't, right? It's an intro. They can't get too, too weird with it. But I think they will going forward, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, but, you know, you got to ease them into this. This is a weird, you know, we get into the mystical stuff, uh, the, the mystic arts. I know they want to ease people in. They, wanna, they don't want to go too heavy too soon. So I, I get it. Um, it's a pretty simple story in terms of an origin. It's another, you know, it's <laughs> a lot of people compared to Iron Man, which kind of is. As far as the the actual story, but yeah, um, I loved it, and I love obviously where he ends up. Thought everybody was good. It's too bad uh, they underused Rachel McAdams. Yeah, because she's great. But you should know. have made her Clea. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see. You got she will tell you for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Great uh, setup. I'm looking forward to seeing she will tell you for make that make that turn. I like the way. That, yes. I love the way exactly. I love how they set him up, man. And so, um, if he goes full, full on Mordo, and what's coming? Uh, you know, we didn't see him at all in the two Avengers movies that came after. So, um, I'm definitely curious to see uh, where his head is at when we see him again. But yeah, I love Doctor Strange, man. I thought Scott Derrickson. Oh, oh my God, Scott Derrickson. He's not doing the second one. I just thought about that. Oh no, let's remember he's stepping away. For yeah, creative but, differences again. Gosh, yeah, but you're up. getting uh, getting Sam Raimi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hey. uh, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we'll your see. famous yeah. line: "Show me a trailer." <laughs> looking forward. To it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we'll see. Well, I love Doctor Strange. So I love this one. 
All right. Um, anyone want to say quick words on Suicide Squad or X-Men Apocalypse? Oh, X-Men Apocalypse. Yeah, I know. It was mostly meant for Suicide Squad because <laughs> X-Men Apocalypse was garbage. Suicide Squad is released in air cut. Fair enough. Uh, see, I don't... Everybody keeps saying that, but I don't... I just, I'm looking forward to the new one. Like we're getting a new one. We're getting we're getting James Gunn Suicide Squad. I don't I don't want to just this one. Uh, I haven't seen it in a while. I, I I was thinking about watching. It. I need to watch it again. You know I don't I don't know. Uh, I, I I get it. Like I, I definitely would like to see Ayers. I'm kind of talking myself right back in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I just said, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing his version. But I don't want to. You know I, I I'm looking forward to the new one. I, I want to see it. But there was some good stuff in it. I like all the characters, all performances, but I'm ready for it. I would, I would like it if it some. I would definitely want the that new cut if if they were somehow able to bring Jared Leto's Joker back in it, and then he, we love him so much that he can move forward. Yeah. That that's what I would. I, I don't agree. So, but I don't mind him. I. I actually, I, I liked him. I liked him as a Joker. So I, did I. I, I agree. I mean, I don't people complain. I, just, I thought he was fine that's to me. Why, but, you that's know, why I if definitely we were to make this cut, if that's if they're going to throw yeah. all the Joker stuff at me, we're going to love sure. him and give it in to the point where we want to see more in the future, and then he is this Joker. Yeah. Fine. I'm not going to complain at all. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. All right, so yeah. let's move on to 2017 because we have half hour and a crap ton of movies. Um, all right, so we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Justice League, Kingsman 2, uh, Logan, Power Rangers, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, and Wonder Woman. I know you guys want Logan very badly, so oh, just go. Just go. All right, Keith. <laughs> you sure? You sure? Man, I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I promise, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna. I just watched this by about three weeks ago. Man, this movie is. <laughs> golly, I can't. The James Mangold too, and I just, I just, I just watched. Uh, I watched that. I went back to back. I watched uh, Wolverine and. Are you on double feature there? Oh, uh, back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I don't even. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. This, this movie transcends the genre in so many ways. Uh, like this is what we're about three years ago. It's a classic, honestly. I know it's maybe too soon to call it that, but I'm just gonna move to classic. Um, didn't get the love it should have got at the Academy. Um, which is just, yeah. ugh, because I'm, I'm wa just watching it again. I'm like, how is this? This is a best picture movie. Like, I don't know if it was would have been like the best picture of the year. It should have definitely been nominated. All those performers, you got three Oscar performance, Oscar worthy performances in it uh, with uh, uh, Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, and even little, uh, little uh, Daphne King. Daphne King. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, Boyd Holbrook is great as a villain. Uh, man. That's just, this movie's near. I can't really think of anything wrong with this movie. To be honest, I really can't. I don't want to call it perfect, but I don't. I, don't, I can't think of anything in this movie that I'm like, eh, I didn't like that. Like I, this movie's man, you get uh, what's his name uh, as a uh, oh my gosh, uh, Stephen Merchant in there is great. Richard Cal E. Grant. Cal 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 Richard E. Grant is in it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I, I wish we could have more of him, man. I wish, yeah, watching it too. I mean, he really didn't get a lot of him. Uh, I wish I would have liked to get more of him as that character. Um, but have you ever watched the about black and white version right. of it? Yes, yes, it came with the Blu-ray. So yeah, I got it, and it's pretty cool. I, I think I kind of prefer the color. I like black and white. I, I think it's a cool. The aesthetic is cool. I, I like how it looks, but I kind of. I get what they're going for. I I, I like the I want on those cloths. So <laughs> that's fair. So yeah, uh, how menacing was she? Who is like twenty three? Awesome. She was Logan. Dope. 
Yeah, I mean, the, the first teaser poster for um, the movie is show Wolverine's claws coming down, and then it said Logan. And I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. That right. right there just sounds like an Oscar contender. You know that this is going to be a very personal story, a very closely knitted story between characters. And then you're just wild. Yeah. Um, even the first trailer featuring Johnny Cash. Uh, yeah. Good point. It was so, yeah. like, gave you chills. Um, yeah. This movie rides heavily, or not rides, but it benefits a lot from, and that's not a bad thing, it benefits a lot from nostalgia because this is the last time we're going to see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Patrick Stewart as Professor Xavier. And the Xavier we get in this yeah. movie, it, it's heartbreaking to watch. Yes. You know? um, because he's not the, the character that you loved you know watching on screen the the father figure you know especially when he when he passes away and there's that moment of ugh, wolverine just you know like ah oh, it's like i have nothing left you feel it yeah he's like you I feel it you feel it it's, yeah um devastating until of course you find out that that's his daughter and um and, and and that's what I mean by you know closely knit, very personal story. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if I do like the Wolverine clone being his enemy. Um, I get it; it's the worst. Oh, yeah. It's the worst possible version of himself. But I'll, I'm also just like, I mean, <laughs> maybe yeah. I'll make a red or. Sabretooth. Oh, that would be Sabretooth back one more time. Oh. Um, but yeah. It's just, that would uh, have been, it's, oh, man. Have been an Oscar, Oscar winner. Yeah. yeah. I would have loved Sabretooth. Well, it did win, actually, for screenplay. Yeah. Did it? Did it really? I think so. Yeah. I don't even remember. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. That movie holds up. Obviously, um, I'm going to go to Thor Ragnarok, the movie that possibly saved Chris Hemsworth mm -hmm. as playing Thor and having future movies. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Stop I it. Disagree, but OK. Mm -hmm. No. Really? Are you fine on that? If uh, if you don't think he would have been Thor going forward. No, they would have killed Thor in Endgame. Or Infinity War. No. Really? Yep. hundred percent. I will argue that to the uh, death. I don't know. Um, he even said it. It, it re uh, re energized his enthusiasm to play the character. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, I remember him say that. And it, oh, all right. it gave us the glory. I mean, he was there before, but it gave us the glory of Taika Waititi and just his greatness that of everything he touches. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I I freaking love the hell out of this movie. I don't know anyone that doesn't. Um, just and Tessa Thompson, who is amazing. Uh, oh, she yes. just hails this role and is to this day, excuse me, now one of my favorite characters in this whole universe. So, uh, yeah, I, I yeah. freaking love this movie. Anyone who wants to go next? The Immigrant Song. Yeah, the, the way they use music in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such a thing, I wish that. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say I wish they would have saved. I know you gotta show it, but I said it before. And people said it, but the Hulk reveal. Like, yeah. If they would have saved that for just the movie, well, that would have been crazy. So, but I remember they did the trailer. It was it was at a good time. Me, me and my kids watching the trailer and just that scene when he the Hulk bust out of that thing and. He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a friend from we work. Up. That was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. But go ahead, Gio. Sorry. Probably the closest we're going to get to Planet Hulk, too. True. I think they can still do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I think they can probably, there's a way they can still do that. I, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. But. I will say, 
not all of the moments work for me in Ragnarok. Okay. For instance, mm. the bare ass Hulk. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard you talk about that before. I yeah. think about, yeah. yeah. I think about the Incredible Hulk, and I'm just like, wow, we went from that to this. You think that was uh, funny? It's funny. It, 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 I mean, sure, yeah. It, it's it's funny, but you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I don't know. Um, it's like it's like what they did with Drax in. in but there's that, but. Th there's no doubting that this out of all of Marvel's movies, even dare I say comic book movies, this is like a top five contender on every Very much almost yeah. every nerd's list. Like yeah. it's just incredible and. It's the reason why Thor was so like every time he was on screen in Infinity War, we were just like, "This is yes!" Like I'm excited to see Thor. That's now. a good. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth seemed looks excited to be Thor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't tell me he went from one of the most eh, okay whatever characters to one of the favorites nah, of the Avengers. He's not. See so you. Uh, See, I, I've, I've, we've, we've debated this before. I, I think Thor was way more popular than y'all or no. yeah, you guys give him credit for it. Yeah, that's why you cast Chris Hemsworth in that. He movie. wasn't like, even top, he was so top three of the Avengers disagree. that we had. He wasn't, he wasn't he popular is. because of the character that's why arc. He was popular because... He was just attractive to look at on the actor most of the time. Chopped his hair off to make him more good yeah. looking. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, no, I, you're right. That's, that's definitely true. But I think he's such a magnetic personality. Uh, I'm talking about Hemsworth. That's that's why oh, they put yeah. him in Phase oh, One as time. one of the. Yeah, and so that's that's why they set him up. It's Iron Man, Thor. Captain America, those are the three because they're the big three of the Avengers anyway. And I think that's yeah. why they cast in words. I think he's a much more But to be honest, much more popular point, uh, Black Widow was more popular yeah. than him. Uh, I very much disagree. I don't know. All right. We got plenty more. That's why they uh, made three movies of him and they didn't give the Black Widow uh, at all till now. And he, now uh, I wouldn't flex about yeah. those first two movies. Yeah. Um, so do we really want to talk about any other ones? Because we've got a lot in 18 and 19. You have to talk about Wonder Woman because that is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, go oh, for yeah. The very first female-led <laughs> comic. Yeah, sorry. Go for that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> arguably... Ooh arguably the most impressive movie of this year. You have Gal Gadot in a leading role take a movie of her own. Remember, before this movie, people were still, they still weren't giving her credit for her uh, limited role in Batman v Superman. They were just like, can't she do it? Can't she yeah. carry a movie? Can't she carry a franchise? And somehow Patty Jenkins yeah. made it work. You also had a story with a lot of heart, you know, a period piece. Oh, man. Um, the chemistry between Chris Pine and Gal Gadot. The visualization of the mascara. The mascara, oh my God. The, um, the heartfelt yeah. moments, uh, even in action sequences when she's in no man's land and she's taking on a platoon of soldier platoons plural of german german soldiers i mean it's just uh, what a surprise and it's the reason why we're looking forward to wonder woman 84 so much um, because of this first movie it's just yes. amazing just amazing i i agree i to be completely honest i mean we know we had we had brie larson for that was marvel's Debut. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hesitate saying that Wonder Woman is better than Captain Marvel right Not now. Not even a question. I mean, yeah. 
it's not even not That's even nice. all, yeah. all, all, all due respect to Brie Larson. The Oscar I love Captain Marvel. Marvel but... I'm talking about the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Marvel does not compare to Wonder Woman. Yeah. And dare I say, the way Wonder Woman's used in the DC universe, much better. Yeah. The only thing that Captain Marvel has over she is the fact that Brie Larson's playing the role. An Oscar winner, obviously. Yes, she's great. She's okay. fantastic. Which, to which people still don't like her, even though she is an Oscar winner. So We'll, we'll get to Captain that, Marvel. That pulls me away. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah. All right. So let's jump to 2018. Wait. Oh, what? What? Wait, 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 sorry, 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 really quick. What? Um, I just want to super fast. Um, I love Wonder Woman. I love it. I, this is another oh, yeah, one I've sorry. also watched recently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I just make it fast. I love, I uh, watched this recently again as well. Um, this movie's great, man. It's so good. So, um, so good. I love, love what Patty Jenkins did. Still holds up, in my opinion. Uh, I think she should be the leader of whatever they, whatever, Whatever direction they're going, we'll see. She should be the front person, uh, in my opinion, uh, until they kind of figure out. You know, and uh, uh, Momoa, I think they should maybe put those two ahead. Uh, you know, we'll see when. And again, this, we'll see when the if. You know, we'll see what they're doing with Batman. And do we still know? But, uh, I just, I love her. I think she's great. Um, I love. I've always been a fan of Wonder Woman character, and I think she plays her really well, really, really well. And like Gio said, people were question, just questioning all along her ability to do it and stuff. I'm like, she's gonna be, she's gonna be fine. Like this Wonder Woman, she knows, she knows what she's getting into, right? She's not gonna get in this thing, and and they wouldn't have cast her if they didn't think she could do it. And she, gosh, she's so good. Uh, I just really have, I'm, I have a real affinity for. Her. This character and this movie as well. Love the setting. Uh, all the characters are great, and yeah, I just I can't wait to see what they do next with her, man. As, as much as, as as much as her as uh, they can put put forward, in my opinion, I think that's that's the better. You know, all they're all ready for it. So, all right, uh, love Wonder Woman. Love credit her. to credit to whoever casted her. I mean, it's a great job. Yeah. 2018 brought us Ant-Man and the Wasp, Aquaman, Avengers Infinity War, Black Panther, Deadpool 2, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom. I mean... Let's oh. start with uh, Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Love this movie. Me too. Love Black Panther. Yeah, man. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. You want to talk about... a. Uh, Lost the task. Try the, yeah. the world of Wakanda. Try capturing the um, the culture of of that um, yeah. world because it is its own technically techni technically technological advance world. I'm sorry, ah, get my words mixed up. Um, yeah. It also gave us a really really great. Great villain, and yeah, um, I love Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger. I thought he did an incredible job. Yeah. Um, the movie also, what's the what's the what's the word I'm looking for? It there are elements of the story that relate to the real world. I think, in in my opinion, and the stories like that for me are just oh yeah so powerful because again it's the, it's not just characters but it's plots that you can relate to situations that, that that you can relate to you know on a human level that that makes the most powerful stories this um, movie is called very culturally sound yes absolutely and ryan cooler man top top seven directors working today for sure Go ahead, guys. Black Panther. Agree. Yeah, I, I'm. Th this movie is amazing to me. Everything about it. Um, uh, I, the, the dialogue in this movie that they use, the, 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 
uh, outfits to the storyline to everything. And I will never forget as long as I live hearing that, um, it, that um, line that Killmonger gives right before he dies, bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships because they knew death was better than bondage. I, I get well chills every single well time I hear that line. And it is just, uh, this movie is just amazing from start to finish. And I will just, working at a school that is extremely diverse, just seeing the impact this movie has on them to see an all black cast, except for what one person, what Martin, the, Martin Freeman and Andy circus. Yeah. Uh, the, the Hobbit. Uh, that's what say. The Hobbits, <laughs> the Hobbit guy. Um, that's right. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> just seeing how excited people were to go see this movie and this movie brought in so much money and just basically gave a middle finger to yeah. anyone that said like a, just a minority type movie can't be led and become great. And it's, it, it, I, I honestly, this probably to this day, I have no problem saying it is probably of the Marvel movies, probably top seven for me, maybe even close to five. I, I, I love this movie, love this movie more than so. Oh, it's so good. Keith go. I agree I'm with you. This movie moved me. Ah, yeah. I just yeah got the got the got the got the feels as the kids say <laughs> just right when it started man I was like oh this is yeah love Black Panther I always I used to compare him when I was a kid I was like because he kind of looked like Batman a little bit because this was at the time he was wearing the trench coat which I hope they do I hope they do that in the, movies. Oh, me too. In the trench coat in the movies but um so, oh that's, I love that look but uh. <laughs> Yeah, man, he's married to Storm too, man. I hope not. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Can you Love imagine? Yeah. Those two. Uh, oh my god, uh, he's so good. <sighs> so great, man. But uh, I remember uh, we all saw it together. You no, know, Gio yeah. and I were sitting together. <laughs> we were both leaning. We both. This is awesome. <laughs> I know at one point we both kind of leaned in. I think one of us, I can't remember which one of us said it, but we leaned over like we're talking about Michael B. Jordan. Like, I agree with him. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> and those uh, are the best villains. <laughs> yeah. I think I, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, obviously his the way he went about his methods were wrong, obviously. And he he uh, mistreated a lot of people. He, well, killed innocent people and mistreated some people in Wakanda. But his. Base ideal ideology was like, yeah, I, I get it, <laughs> you know. Um, but you know, uh, yeah, yeah, nothing really bad I could say. He yeah, has a couple moments near the end where the CGI is a little, you kind of notice it. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks a little cartoony. Um, kind of yeah. curious what happened there, <laughs> what happened there with that. But oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It wasn't enough to take away, right? Like it's it's great. Set it in Oakland, which is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people like that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I love his ass. I haven't watched this movie in a while, man. I might I might throw this on tonight, to be honest. That's not what I'm thinking about because I haven't seen it in you know, a while. But love it. Love this movie. Can't wait for the next one. Ryan Coogler, Sac State. Woohoo! Singers up. Um you know, I <laughs> Keith, let's just make you uh even even more happy right now and jump into Spider Man into the Spider Verse. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Listen. It does not get any better than this. Okay. And I'm I know I'm being a big cheerleader for it, but I, no. I legitimately feel like <laughs> I, I I would make a case. I don't know if I could. I will 
I don't want to say it's the best comic book movie ever. It's oh, is it close, man? It's uh, the deepest. So, yeah, yeah. This movie has everything. Everything. It's funny. It's it's heartfelt. It's got a good family story. Love just his him and his parents, and you know, it's got stuff that you can relate to. He's having a tough time with his dad. You know, kind of his dad's a cop, an NYPD cop. Um, you know, him having to deal with that. Uh, him going to this private school. Uh, Miles Morales, we're talking about here, of course, if you don't know, as uh, Spider Man. I remember just thinking an animated Spider Man movie. It's like who's who's gonna in theaters? Like who's gonna see that? Like uh, you know, I was curious about it, but I remember I that first trailer. Desire to go see it. Yeah, yeah, really. That first trailer when he's he jumps off like when he does the leap of faith in the movie and like that shot um like and just of the city upside down and he's flying like man. Uh, he's wearing Jordans. He's wearing the Air Jordan uh, ones. Yeah, and I'm like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen, and I couldn't wait to go see it, man. Uh, the soundtrack is great. This movie is, again, near perfect. I love it's some of the best animation I've ever seen. Uh, gosh, I just I, I can't. I, I gush about this movie so much. I I I love it. I'll watch it. I'll never get tired of it. I'll watch well, it, get to watch it on Friday. I I can't wait. It wasn't my movie, Gio. Thank you. Yeah, Gio. <laughs> Gio Gio I, actually, I, voted I, I voted for it. I voted for it. I voted for it too. <laughs> I did. Uh, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, I want to watch that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've already well, seen it a hundred times, but yeah. Such a yeah. good movie. Yeah, that was, man, that was great. I, I, I was moving to death. So. Gio, you got any words on it? Uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller are geniuses once again. Um, where have they yes. been? I miss them. Uh, I know, right? But, I know. but yeah, I mean, just oh man, the ultimate Spider Man uh, ride adventure. Yeah. Um, and seeing different universe Spider Mans, you know, together yeah. on screen is just. It's, Amazing and, and fun to watch. Uh, if you haven't seen this, it's on Netflix. Please watch it. Yeah, I agree. Easy. Uh, for correct me yeah, if I'm sorry. wrong. Oh, no, go for it. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I was gonna say shout out to Jake Johnson and Chris Pine playing the two other Peter Parkers. Man, they were great. They were really good. I, I remember total shock that it was Chris Pine as the first one. I remember. I didn't that. know I didn't that until like, like someone told yeah. me after. I just heard, I heard him talking. That, Sounds really familiar. I saw it in the credits. I went, "Oh my god, that was Chris Pine!" Wow. So, but yeah. anyway, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, it's just it. It's such a good movie. I fall asleep to this movie like all the freaking time. <laughs> it, it it's so good. First movie to knock out Disney in best animated in seven years, I believe, for an Academy Award. Yeah, won the Oscar. And. That's right. Yeah, beat out. I remember it beat out what like Incredibles two. It it, it beat out two, yeah. some some pretty uh, big movies. Um, yeah, there was something else too. Uh, it was uh, I have it right here. Incredible. Oh, it beat out. Okay, There's something else big. It yeah, it beat out uh, Isle of Dogs, Incredibles two, Mirai. And Ralph breaks the internet. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay. So, yeah. but um, yeah, this movie's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, shall we move to what? Infinity War. I wish. I wish we would get the Phil Lord Miller version of Solo. It's too bad. That's. I want to see that. That could have. Yeah. I want to. Whatever. But anyway, sorry. Yeah. Twenty. What was it? Twenty eighteen. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Infinity War. The bad guys, the good Finally, guys yeah. lose. The big bad Thanos. Yeah. And boy, was this his movie. Josh Brolin. Incredible job. <laughs> it was very recent, so I can't really, whether it stands the test of time. I think this one will more than its uh, direct sequel. Um, but. Mm. Just seeing the Guardians come together with the Avengers, oh. stop a threat, 
Thanos finally getting his hands yeah. on the Infinity Stones. The Battle of Wakanda. Oh yeah. my god. Yep. Yeah. Thor's journey on Thor's entrance. His entrance, yeah. Yeah, totally. Um but this is very much uh, Thanos' movie. He's the main the main star, the, the main character. And um despite his build up in the previous appearances not being the best it paid off in this movie it definitely paid off yeah and um yeah it definitely left us on a cliffhanger the way it ended yeah it did keith you like infinity war quite a bit what uh share your thoughts infinity war Love, I love Infinity War. <laughs> yes, love this movie. Love, just love Thanos. Everything Gio said that that's not tough to do, man. They had a tall task. They really had to, because just hype. Was there? I don't. Know, was there really hype for Thanos? I don't know if it was hype as, as much as just kind of like questions, kind of like, okay, where is he? What's he gonna do? <laughs> What's he gonna do? This eats, by the uh, way, so I can't take. Fine, I'm gonna say. I missed that thing. <laughs> uh, they have a new one where the gym and stones actually come off. Oh, no, that was exactly my point. That there, there were there were questions about Thanos. There, there his yeah, yeah, yeah. build up was not as strong as others remember. It's not. <laughs> it just was like it was just like. I remember at the end of uh, Age of Ultron, it's just like oh, that's it. I'm like, okay, he puts the, the you know the empty uh, gauntlet on. Uh, all right, I'll do it myself. And it's like, well, okay, where are we gonna? Right, let's let's get to it. I, I look the cast rolling right, so you know it's gonna be good. But for them to, they still had to. You, know, you got to do it right. You just, you gotta you actually have to do it. And they, where do they do it? <laughs> I really think this will go down. Like, um, I hope I'm not. I don't know if I'm overstaying. But, over saying with me as one of the great villains we've had in sorry phone no, copyright us. <laughs> talk over it uh, <laughs> one of the great villains we've had in recent memory man uh and yeah not much i can say that we haven't said already uh works great as a direct sequel to the thor ragnarok so in that sense you guys are definitely right um in the direction they went with thor uh but they were doing that already, you know. Like obviously, this movie came right after, a few months later. So, um, but yeah, you know, this movie, movie's great. I love it. I love it. Yep. Uh, I'll wait to talk more about Avengers in the next year, decade or next year. Uh, Geo, we got to say Aquaman before we move on. <sighs> Such a fun movie, and <laughs> see. This is why I don't understand about certain fans. You want DC to be more like Marvel. So what does DC, James Wan does? He makes a fun swashbuckling action adventure. A lot, it feels a lot like a Marvel movie. And you guys criticize that? I like this movie. No, not not you guys. No. <laughs> I was gonna say. No, I, I, who's, to I, me, this I, is like right. my second favorite. Uh, yeah. DC movie. No, no, not not you guys. I'm talking to <laughs> the fans who wanted DC to be like Marvel. Oh, to be like you know, because more fun, more the, the light, Marvel more. does it right. Marvel does this. Marvel does that. Well, James Wan made a fun movie, a movie that I happen to rewatch a lot because this is so much fun. And it gets criticized. You know, it's not a perfect movie. No, it's not. Really? But on a fun meter from zero to 10, it's like 100. You know, <laughs> they go to Atlantis. They go to uh, the Sahara Desert. They go to Italy. They go into the trench. You want to talk know. about a filmmaker making the most of his limited opportunity and what he's good at, James Wan? Or I remember watching the trench in theaters and I was like, whoa, this got very dark, you know, and they jump into the abyss. Um, but Jason Momoa is very charismatic, very fun. 
the this is perfect. This is a perfect franchise for him. Again, shout out to whoever casted him. That was just an amazing job. So I was about to say he's perfect. <laughs> he's perfect. Yeah. It, honestly, like to be honest, I don't think this movie would have been taken very seriously if it was or the character of Aquaman in a movie if it wasn't for someone like Jason Momoa. If you would have gone that typical white, uh, blonde hair, blue eyes like he is in the comic books it probably wouldn't have been taken as serious and the comedy aspect would have definitely faltered a little bit more than if Jason Momoa is delivering it. I could have done without Pitbull playing his song in the Sahara desert or wherever they are <laughs> like that part. Sure. Well, well, other than that, that, that's, that's the only like part where I'm really like, I don't like it. So like, other than that, other than that part, like I enjoy this movie. It's again, I I think it's the second best uh, D, DC movie next to Wonder Woman. So um, yeah, I enjoy this movie. I think Jason Momoa absolutely really? kills kills Aquaman. He he couldn't be any more perfect for the role. Yeah, yeah, man. This movie's uh yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of, <laughs> the only thing that took me out of it was like, there's a lot of like, there's conversations and then all of a sudden there's an explosion <laughs> that happened like five or six times. Like I was just sitting there watching, okay, there's people talking all of a sudden, like, oh, geez, <laughs> why, <laughs> why does that keep happening? Uh, and the only other thing that for me, is just, uh, I watched it a few months back. It's been a little bit, it's been a little while, but I think it popped up on HBO. Uh, just the, the battle, I mean, just the battle at the end, it's, it's cool, it's weird, there's a lot of weird stuff, I love all the weird creatures, but I, I kind of have a hard time keeping track of who's who, <laughs> a little bit, and what kind of weird creature somebody's riding on or something, but, hey, you're getting now, sharks, was, fighting, uh, people riding sharks, and what was the mythical fighting monster? big old, uh, what was oh, that name? was awesome, it was, it was, what's her name too, uh, Mary, it was Mary Poppins, um, yeah, uh, Julie Andrews, uh, Julie Andrews, <laughs> What was the? Yeah, do you remember that was the cool. Movie? I, I like that whole scene. Oh man, I don't remember the name. Is that a trivia yeah. question? Jesus, the. Uh, I should yeah. <laughs> save it. You Isn't know what? Start, save it then. Doesn't it start <laughs> with a G? Something. Uh, can we first yeah, also that. not leave out uh, Yahya Abdul Mateen, Mateen uh, as mm. Black Panther? Yeah. You don't yeah, like? It? See, that's my only. He did. No, nah, he did really. a great job. I think he did a good they, job. They tried. I like uh, him. They tried to force his. Yeah. Uh, okay. The, they tried to force audiences to sympathize. You know, like I did not feel bad that his dad died because <laughs> they were bad. He was a bad ten, guy, right? Ten like, minutes ago, they just massacred the whole Navy, Navy ship, most of the crew. Right. right. Then they tried to play a montage where he. He's like Iron Man, you know, building a, a, a uh, <laughs> yeah. whatever his costume was, and I'm just like, yeah, not working. Other than that, he looks cool. Costume, that, they, they got the costume, they nailed it. Yeah, yeah the, the costume look. looks great. He has because I thought he definitely has right. an on-screen <laughs> presence. Like, like he, yeah, he deserves more leading roles in Hollywood, and he 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 has it. Yeah. Uh, it was called the Carathin, and it is a Leviathan well, species. What is it? Carathin. Okay. <laughs> okay. Carathin. Okay. Carathin. I don't uh, know. You're giving him. You're giving him answers. That was. You should have made. Should have I saved should have that made for the trivia <laughs> question. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, I really. Uh, what's the name again? Yaya. I'm sorry. Yaya Abdul Mateen. Mateen. Yeah. Yeah. Second. He plays another. Uh, he's got another DC character. He I don't know how to reveal, but he, and plays he does a good job. Very well, very very well. He's great in that one. But, Kills uh, that one. That's a big spoiler. Yeah, that's a spoiler. I don't want to reveal that one, but uh, yeah, I, we got Lee Whannell flying that plane in the desert and <laughs> that desert scene. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next one, man. Is Juan? Are they gonna do a sequel? And is James Wan gonna be involved? I would assume there's going to be a sequel. He hasn't, I hope he would be in. He hasn't that. officially signed on, but he's interested. Sure. He's, okay. I'm pretty sure he's okay. doing the trench, isn't he? That trench, that standalone trench. Well, he's he's producing. Yeah, it. I don't, 
yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I... That's one of those movies I'm just like, huh? See? Uh, yeah. As yeah. much of as, as yeah. much as much of as of an enthusiast that I am, there are still things that make me go, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I know we're already over, but would are you going to be fine with uh, the Themyscira uh, Amazon movie, though? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they doing that? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, give me that, that one. That makes me... Well, because Ooh. there was... Oh, that's cool. Are they already doing that? There was actual time it's dedicated hard. to Themyscira. There, there wasn't hardly any time to the trench. You saw them for, like, five minutes, and yeah, there's Harry yeah. looking... And yeah, if James yeah. Wan directed, that would draw my interest. But right now, it doesn't. Fair I'd enough. rather see Man of Steel too. Fair enough. If that's true. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, we're already over, but at this point, uh, 2019, the last year of our decade movie, brought us Captain Marvel, Dark Phoenix, Hellboy, Shazam, Spider-Man: Far From Home, Joker, and Avengers: Endgame. Wow, the first half of the first half of that list is just uh, like that's why I did it because <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna cross. We're just probably gonna honestly talk about Joker and Avengers Endgame. So which one do we well, want? To start? What? Well, I mean, well, yeah, you got Shaz- she got Shazam. Shazam's fun, man. I really Shazam's like fun. that movie. Um, Shazam, Shazam, right? we all like Shazam, don't we? Geo's waiting for Black Adam. Well, okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. But <laughs> he don't care about you gotta, no, I, I, Black Adam. <laughs> but you got to make Shazam work, though, right? You got to, like, you got to no. sell, sell us on that Shazam one. Shazam could have been a failure, but the fact that Dwayne Johnson is attached to Black Adam. Well, they're yeah, not. Yeah, but I think Shazam. I think you got to make Shazam work, though. Yeah, I, I, you're. I, yeah, you're right on the rock. But he's got some. Listen, everything the rock is in, he doesn't. You know what I mean? Like how many of these movies are just because it's him, right? And then it's like, like you have the building one, the skyscraper one, yeah, and then the, the earthquake rock. one. They make money. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, yeah, I guess. But it, it didn't. He's gonna be cool as Black Adam. Right? Yes, and it didn't hurt that Shazam made money. Made three hundred and sixty-six million, yeah. so yeah. and that's getting a sequel. And Man of Steel's not. Man of Steel made six hundred. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're aware. Know. Hey, DC enthusiasts here. But no, I'm, I'm not. I'm fully. No one's arguing I'm with your fully with you on thoughts. Um, yeah, I liked this movie. I, listen, I'm with him on that. That's the thing. I think oh, everyone yeah. is uh, honestly. He's great, man, Zachary. Zachary Levi. Zachary Le- Levi? Levi? I don't know. Like Levi? Yeah, he's great, man. I really loved him. Uh, 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 the kid uh, the kid from It and uh, the other guy. I don't know the other kid um, that plays uh, Are you Billy. Are after right, Angel um, is Billy Batson? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen him in anything else. But um, I loved – I really love the family, right? Like I love the family in that. As soon as I – because I actually uh, read a little bit of the New 52 – version so with all the family like each one showing up like like oh they're gonna do they're gonna do the Shazam family like I, just, I knew it right and I, I was it still surprised me at the end that they actually did it but I just I didn't know it would be like in this movie but I was like oh they're all gonna they're all gonna be little Shazams so it's really cool and I, I love how they did it. they got Adam Brody in there as the older one and uh yeah I, I, I had a lot of fun with this movie you know just uh, wait. what's his name Mark Strong he's, good he's a little little cartoony but you know it's just wait till it's, 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 I, black adam comes in there and kills his whole family <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> i know oh god yeah. that's gonna be bad well if they can figure out superman i don't want to go off into that but geez i mean there's no reason you can get all three of them just smacking each other around that would be really cool to see that in the movie man but yeah you know Oh man! All right, uh, what do we want to go to next? Uh, what else? What else? Go to what else game? You want to go to end game? Why? So you can end with Joker. Oh yeah. Well, all right. end game. Oh, yeah. the greatest comic book movie <laughs> of all time. That's all I need to say. Oh well. 
Yeah. Money yeah. wise, yes. I, I, this movie is 23 movies. Well, no, 22 movies. Were, yeah. Has the biggest freaking cast of all time. The greatest <laughs> battle scene of all time. I, I yeah. I never, you'll never see something probably like this ever again. I told you, man. The the very last Fast and Furious movie, you're gonna see all of them come together and with their cars, <laughs> and it's gonna be Endgame esque. This is true. They're that. gonna bring back. They're gonna bring back Ja Rule. They're gonna bring uh, back uh, Eva. They're gonna bring back Ja Rule. Eva, Eva Mendes, Mendes. Hector. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hector. Uh, Gal Gadot. She might have survived that plane. Uh, falling out of that plane. Yeah, you know? of course we're not. Uh, <laughs> nah, this is yeah. We we've, we've talked about this a bunch too. Uh, you know. Again, I kind of I'm one of those ones I prefer to any more of the two I have to choose. But hey, they they finished they finished strong. Uh, they made us laugh and cry and all that stuff in this movie. Spent the whole last half hour of this movie in tears. <laughs> everyone in the theater. <laughs> but uh, I've never uh, ever, great stuff. ever openly weeped in a movie theater like I have for the end of this. <laughs> <movie>. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, that's. That's what that's good storytelling, man. When you get you get your characters, get people uh, invested in your characters over such a long time, it's it's something that we've never really seen in a in anything. I mean, even Star Wars couldn't. They thought they were doing that, but they. <laughs> 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 they <didn't>. but, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know. Uh, I mean, what can we say? It's great. I, I I hope we figure out a way to see Thanos again, man. I don't. I don't know how. You want to know but... what I heard the other day? You can bring back people that get dusted. You can't bring back people that die. How did Thanos leave us in Endgame? He got dusted. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll if see. If they do that, we'll see. Wow. Like Endgame no? will have ten spots on my best comic book movies list. Like, <laughs> if they do, it's not going to be for at least 10, yeah. 15 years. Even still. It, sure. But anyways, <laughs> Endgame. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Uh, Endgame is the ultimate theatrical experience of a comic book movie. It is the testament. Um, it is the, the standard for the ultimate experience. Um in this genre it just i don't know it it it, it hits the ground running and anybody watching that movie knows exactly who the characters are knows exactly what the circumstances are is are is whatever one two um (laughs) But just the uh, just the emotion, the movie, the the emotion of the ride. Um, so knowing that at least one of these characters that you care about is is gone forever, and it was a character that we most of us thought it would be, and the one that. You can make an argument. It, it was probably time, um, because a story this grand, this um, epic, it needs to have that kind of emotional weight, which it delivered on in the end. The end battle. I haven't seen a sequence like that since. Return of the King, Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, good. That's good. Good comp. Not even Harry Potter and then the Deathly Hallows Part Two was as it was definitely up there, but you got Return of the yeah. King and Endgame. Oh, just amazing! And then the after after the battle. Some good comparisons. Not only does Iron Man get his proper send-off, but so does Captain America. 
whether it's you know permanent or he'll return in five movies i thought that was very beautiful i thought the uh selection of sam as a new captain america was organic but also i thought it was very fitting especially with what's going on in today's world i i love it and um hmm. it'll be very interesting very interesting to see what the audience's appetite is for marvel movies going forward i'm not saying nobody's interested in it but now you don't have captain america you don't have iron man in there you delivered a movie that was just so draining in a good way, like emotionally draining. Mm. That it's oh, here we go back again. You ready to go back on the the roller coaster ride? I'd be very interested to, interested to see, but this yeah. would be the ultimate ultimate theatrical experience. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. So they definitely have a they just, got a tall task. Did yeah. You get to say, yeah, you said your piece? Okay. All right. We have to finish this in nine minutes. Uh, Joker. Go ahead, Gio. DC gets another Oscar. I'm just kidding. Um, wow. Hey. Todd Phillips. I didn't know you had it in you, man. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix, <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Um, oh yeah. Again, much like Logan, when you first see the first posters and even the first trailer, you're just like, "Wow, this this is going to be a very, very personal story, um, very uh, Oscar bait." Um, it deals a lot with <laughs> yeah uh, mental health. It really tries its absolute best in the best way you possibly can to dissect the character of the Joker. Um, I don't, like I said, it tries its best and I think it does to this date in the best way. Um, <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix, if you didn't know, he was a phenomenal actor. You, you know it now. Yeah. Um, yeah. The cinematography of this movie is beautiful. The music is incredible. The the score. And it's a very uncomfortable movie to watch. Yep. But that's what makes it so great. The art. Mm. Yeah. I I love this movie. Score. Oh. score, the composer won the Oscar as well, right? Didn't uh I think it did. First lady. Yeah. I think so. Was the lady, right? First lady to win. Mm -hmm. win I think. I believe so. Here, I'll uh, look up. Yeah, pretty sure. But yeah, she did the score for uh, Sicario as well, I think, which I just watched last night. So, uh, <clears throat> so she's awesome. But um, Best story sure that. music score. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. It's a great score. Um. <sighs> I, I do love this movie. I really do. Oh, it's great. Love jo oh, Joaquin Phoenix. As soon as I heard that he, like, they got him, because remember, he was almost Doctor Strange, you know, yeah. so, which I would would have been really good. But, um, yeah, as soon as I heard that, you know, I've been a fan of his. For me, uh, I, for probably a lot of people, it was uh, um, Gladiator, right, where you first were like, man, who is this guy? Like, he's, he's incredible. Um, and so many things going forward, but yeah, his his performance is I don't even know. The fact that like he researched right that whole thing with the laughing kind of uncontrollably like that's a thing that he came up with. Like he researched that and brought that to the character, right? Genius. Which is incredible. Yeah, like I I never heard of that. Like that's wow. So and it you know it makes sense for a guy like that, like in that in that world. It was just getting and it's a terrible terrible just the setting set design. 
I don't know if that was production design. Like that's some of the best you'll like. It looks like old, late seventies, early eighties, dirty, Gotham. gritty New York. It, it's Gotham, you know what I mean? But it, like it looks like it captured that old look, right? Of whatever New, New York City probably looked back looked like at the time. Um, and you know it's Gotham, and uh, sometimes like there's di- all the different versions of Gotham we've gotten. It's a tough. You know, sometimes it didn't really necessarily feel like Gotham to me. Um, I've always imagined Gotham, and I think it was more kind of comparable to like Chicago than New York. Like Gotham was like Chicago, and like Metropolis was New York, right? That was kind of the so this one had a more of a New York feel, uh, but it still looked great. It still looked great. I'm not, I'm not uh, criticizing that, but uh, yeah, my only thing is, and Gio, you, you said like uh, I. Him as his character, a great like I don't. It's a great study into this guy, right? Arthur Fleck, whatever. Arthur Fleck, yes, sorry, yeah. But I don't. I just want to see what comes later, right? Um, because uh, I love. I'm one of those people. Look, a lot of people like we love the Joker, the big Joker guy, right? And I'm just like, this doesn't feel like the Joker, like the Joker, right? You know, like, and I'm not comparing him to Heath Ledger at all. Um, I know it's e- easier for people to do that. I'm not, they're totally different. Um, but I'm just talking about just the Joker like, in general, like just like that, that crime guy, like, this guy doesn't feel like a guy who's going to be this criminal mastermind going out, you know, not yet. Again, I don't know what they're going to do coming forward, but uh and I guess that's not what it's about, right? It's, it's about the events that led to this person kind of losing it at the end. And and it, in that sense, it, it works. But sometimes I just wonder, like, uh, if it wasn't how society Joker, treats, like, if you take, uh, treats an individual like that, you know, the uh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. lack of empathy, lack of support. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. percent I, I just, I've always been one, and this is just, this is me, right? This is a me problem. But I've always yeah. been one of those people where, I don't. I don't like a defined origin for the Joker. I just like that he just. We have no idea. We don't know. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. He's just a maniac. Don't know what he wants. Don't know where he came from. But we got to stop him. That's all. Like I, I've. That, that's just me. You know. I'm there with um, you. This movie uh, it works. Yeah. Yeah. This movie it's great. It's works. I'm not. You know. Um. That's just something for me to <laughs> separate when I watch this movie. But uh, all that aside, this movie is it's really great. It's really one of the best made comic movies ever. Um, like I said, the cinematography is if you're one of those people you like cinematography like me, this is oh, my head was spinning just watching all this. There's some great shots. Uh, everything in this movie works, man. Well, for me, you know, for a lot of us. Um, so, yeah. Two thumbs up, man. Joker is great. Uh, you know, I bought it as soon as it became available. I bought it and I well deserve the Oscar. And you know, what are you gonna say? I love it. Yeah, I mean, easily one of the most disturbing movies I've ever watched. Um, it's where our famous disturbing in a good way line came from. Um, but, <laughs> That's right, yeah. But yeah, wild movie, um, very deserving of the praise it got. But uh, yeah, so all right, well, that's it. We have finally made it. From 1980 all the way to 2019. Holy moly. Wait. wait, What? We didn't talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. No. No. (laughs) (laughs) We already went a half hour over what we were supposed to do. But, um, yeah, so if you have been with us. Yeah. If you've been with us since 1980, (laughs) thank you for, uh, for... getting through this whole entire six series episode arc that we had going on here. Um, Let us know what you think. What is your favorite comic book movie of all time? Do you agree with any of our thoughts? Let us know. Um, So for Apocalypse Movies and Nerd Nation, thank you for joining us. I am Brian Avalosino. Keith Barnes. Really quick, I was just going to say, uh, our announcement. This is going to be our last Nerd Nation for a while. I just wanted to say, uh, you, Brian, did a great job. Great Thank job you. on the show all the time. Really 
really glad I've been able to be a part of it. I was a fan. I watched it all the time. Like, man, I wish I could get on Nerd Nation. I was just because of work and stuff, I couldn't do it. So, but uh, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for, you know, inviting me to be on every week. Of course. Like, truly, Geo, man. Love, love doing this with you guys. Um, I can't wait till we can do it again. Uh, I, seriously, I really have had such a good time doing this. Geo, great, great call, man, with this uh, decade yes. uh, series. This was all Geo's. Really been a lot of fun. So props to him. Yeah, man, it's been so much fun talking talking about all these movies. Yeah, um, with you guys, man. So, yes. Thanks. So yes, thank you, Geo, for this fantastic idea. And like I said, for Apocalypse movies, I am Brian. That is. That is Keith. That is Geo. <laughs> Gonna screw it up one last time. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the future. <laughs> <laughs>